it looked to us watching like you were pretty poised, like you weren't letting the moment get uh, a hold of you too much. What did it feel like internally? You mentioned that that you know, kind of processing it all the way that you did helped you kind of control those emotions. What were you dealing with internally? Uh, so, uh, believe it or not, I mean, the day before was was more nerve wracking than than the actual day, and so just because of the ball feeling different and uh, the touch pin not going to my uh, uh, to to what I want it to look like, and so I was just like, man, I I, I really I, I got to step it up tomorrow. And um, I went out there and just everything felt great. I felt calm. I, I got to play catch before the game, throw the bullpen. Everything went great. And so you're just like, all right, this is just like any other game. You just got to go out there and just execute your pitches. Uh, it's, they're human. They're not, they're not superheroes, although some people may say they are. They're, they're, they're human. And so just to go out there and um, execute pitches and just attack the zone, pound the strike zone, that's your friend. And uh, that's what I was thinking of. Just uh, the first pitch was the most nerve wracking. You want it to go good. You want the first pitch to go good. Um, and so once once that you see that ball go through the strike zone and strike one, you're like, hey, it's it's another game now. So it was fun. You didn't exactly have a soft landing, Evan. You were going up against the Mets team that at the time, I think, had the third best record in Major League Baseball. The previous two games against your Nats ball club, they'd hit something like five or six home runs. They were putting up big time numbers. So how did you approach the way that you were going to attack those Mets hitters? You mentioned trying to fill up the strike zone. That's what Davey tells all of his young pitchers that he wants them to do. But beyond that, how did you try and tiptoe your way through a Mets lineup that has a lot of landmines in it? Yes, absolutely. So I, I got some great help. I, uh, I can't thank Eric Fetty. Uh, Eric Fetty, the uh, pitching coach, Jim Hickey, uh, the catcher, the catching staff and the video staff for all helping me with scouting report, just giving me knowledge on hitters, on, on what they're trying to do, who you, who you need to attack this way, who you need to attack this way. And uh, it really helped me, helped me a lot just uh, from veteran leadership, just being a, helping me out. They didn't have to, they didn't have to do that. But but they did, and uh, they took time out of their day to help me prepare and help me process what I needed to do. And I'm forever thankful for them for doing that. And that that helped me help me as well. Just being able to know that hey, these guys are rooting for me. They want me to have success out there. And so let let's go do it. And um, that's that that's how that went down. Just uh, before the game, just approached their lineup. Hey, you need to stay away from this guy. You need to go do this, execute this to this guy. And so that's what I did. I just went out there and I just controlled my emotions, executed pitches, and just tried to go as deep as possible in that ball game. Evan Lee joining me on Nats Insider. Evan, let's talk about your kind of career path here. You went to University of Arkansas. You were a two-way player there. Your offensive numbers were, were pretty darn good. We had them up on the screen the other day. Um, you threw only 33 innings in college, and most of that, I believe, was out of the bullpen. Uh, only a couple starts in there. So as a college player that has designs of making it to the major leagues, how did you see yourself accomplishing that? In what role did you envision? Did, did you see yourself as a, as a starter when you tossed on that major league uniform? Did you think maybe bullpen guy? Did you think... I could be a position player and crack the major leagues that way. How did you process where you were at in college and getting to your eventual goal? Absolutely. So coming out of college, uh, I felt that my best chance to make it to the major leagues was as a pitcher. Being left-handed, that was an advantage. And as a position player, uh, uh, defense was not my strength by any means, but uh, offensively as well, didn't show the power that I felt I needed to to move up in the ranks. And so uh, as a left-handed pitcher, I did have some power and I did have have some attributes to me that uh, I, I felt would give me the best opportunity to uh, to make a career out of out of um, in professional baseball, and uh, just uh, early on was very raw, very wild. I didn't necessarily know what I was doing. I was just kind of just uh, relying on my athleticism. It wasn't pretty by any means, but um, I'm a testament to the Nationals player development. They they took me they took me under the reins and um, and we just started building it. And just started building uh, confidence, started building repeatability, started uh, started basically I went to pitcher school is what I did. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's what everybody's got to do. I mean, the structure that that professional baseball provides, it doesn't matter the results that are happening in the present moment. Um, 
it's it's about development. You can you go you're going to toe that rubber every five days if you're a starter, and you're gonna you're gonna come out of the bullpen every one or two days if you're a reliever. And so that that gives you no matter good or bad, that gives you the opportunity to go out there and get better. And I and I'm forever thankful that the Nationals were were able to be patient with me uh, to get the leadership that that the Nationals player development staff have uh, just from coordinator all the way down to pitching coaches are phenomenal and incredible human beings to devote their time to somebody like me that didn't know a whole lot about pitching and they had to be patient because it, it didn't, it was not pretty. And um, I'm just a testament to those guys. And, and it was an, incre- it's an incredible story and it's an incredible, it's a testament to those guys more than it is to me because they gave me the guidance and, and the time uh, to develop into who I am today. And I'm forever thankful for that.